Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss about Nmap2 which is very handy tool for system admins and network engineers. Nmap stands for Network Mapper and Nmap is an open source tool for network exploration and security auditing. You can this tool to scan a larger network or single host. I've listed a couple of uses of Nmap tool but these are not limited uh, what I have documented. Uh, it's got uh, other useful features too. So for those features, just check man page of nmap or run dash dash help with nmap uh, utility. So you will get that information. The couple of benefits which I have listed, they are nmap can be used for security audits, network inventory collection, monitoring a host, checking service uptime, and uh, testing UDP port connectivity. I've also listed precautions like be careful when you're using uh, Nmap utility or tool to scan a whole network because it uh, puts a load on your network. Also it reports okay these ports are open on your server or network. So if someone from outside get that information he can easily intrude to your system or network so that's a bit risky. Always seek permission from your network team before using this tool. Generally, in my experience, most of the teams are low, but again, uh, that uh, depends upon setup to setup. So let's begin technical session, friends. I will explain how we can use this utility. I have logged on to my jump server. Uh, this is Linux machine. So as target, uh, let's check uh, one of the Amazon IP range, which is Amazon's public IP range. SL, what it means, it will simply list the targets which are available in this particular range it will list all the ip addresses basically okay right now it is saying nmap command is not there so it means now uh, we have to install that utility so install it yum install nmap this is part of a base repo so it will be getting installed easily if you see this is a base repo i'm saying yes install it Okay, so let's run this command again. If you see, uh, it scanned, uh, this is the IP. As we started from 130 to 140, it listed all IPs in that particular range and uh, told us, okay, these are the DNS names for each IP. So you got DNS name for each of the IP. Now let's check what all IPs are up in this particular range between 130 to 140. To check, we have to use SN tells these IPs are up. It may take a couple of uh, seconds to finish. If you see it uh, listed only one IP or this particular DNS entry is up, which is my server. The server is running Linux in Amazon. Let's scan a wider uh, network. Let's scan from 130 to 180 and let's see how many IPs are up. Because uh, it uh, not depends uh, whether you got connectivity or not it basically runs scan so let's see what's output if you see right now two IP addresses are up in this particular range one is 134 second is 156 so see you can use this utility to scan active IP addresses or active servers so that was the one case let's say uh, we want to check more detail about this server which is my Linux server an nmap without any option or you can use a minus v for verbose but uh, no no extra benefit of using verbose because with verbose it only tells how it is scanning the things output will be same in this output if you see uh, on my server this particular dns and this is the ip only two ports are open. One port is uh, port 22, which is for SSH. Second port is for HTTP. Uh, the port is closed. What it means, uh, service is not listening on uh, my Linux server in Amazon, but port is open, connectivity is through. So it lists the open ports. So that's good friends, uh, we know only these ports uh, are open. Now let's say you want to know what operating system running on uh, any particular instance. Let's check uh, my instance and map 
minus O is for operating system detection and press enter. Uh, this is my target IP on which I am going to scan which OS is running. If you see that report, uh, it is telling uh, the port information which I already explained to you guys and uh, this is the aggressive operating system guesses because uh, NMAP utility is not able to 100% confirm this is uh, Linux but it told the most of the information which I can assume okay my target OS is Linux if you see uh, this is the Preston X panel system this is maybe running on HP this particular NAS device uh, this is the hard drives and uh, if you see here it is telling this code to this particular Linux kernel this is 85% guess and it may be on Linux 3.7 which is again 85% so no exact matches but as I told uh, my OS is Linux if you see nowhere here it listed it is Windows it is listing it is Linux so I'm sure target OS is Linux so let's run this query for one of the Windows machine I know uh, this is the Windows machine so let's run same command which windows machine it, it should list okay this machine is windows machine okay if you notice here here it is it has not told this is os guess it's clearly told os cpe which means it is sure this is os so my machine is on windows 7 if you see os detail field here it is telling it may be 2007 windows or 2008 yeah my windows uh, machine is windows 7 sp1 so that's an exact guess and this is a network distance mean between uh, one hop away it is uh, in same network basically so that was the uh, one way to get your OS and uh, let's say you have to check operating system uh, on your router here this is my router and I know this IP is of my router which is uh, a netcom device if you notice here it told this particular Mac ID is of netcom limited yeah I know my router is from netcom and uh, that is running on Linux so that's easy way friends, uh, we can uh, easily get target operating system. Okay, next benefit, if you want to know what is this service version, service version uh, means uh, uh, if you see this output, sorry, not this one, let's take uh, Amazon machine. If you see this output, it is telling port 22 is open but it is not telling uh, what is the SSH version or uh, Apache version. It can't list Apache version because Apache is down. It is uh, showing closed. So let's test uh, service version for SSH, like what is a particular SSH version on my target machine. It should list that information quickly. In the output, if you see here, it is telling now SSH is a service and this is the service version. It is open SSH 6.6.1 protocol version 2.0 and this is the SSH host keys. So whatever service is running uh, on that uh, particular machine for which we got network connectivity, we, it can easily tell, okay, this is the service version. So that's again very handy feature. And with this command, if you see, it also gave us uh, trace route information for whole network uh, hops. That's again a handy feature and this is the time it took uh, to s perform the scanning. That's the reason I said if you see it uh, took 32 seconds uh, for whole work. If you got 1000 servers, it's going to take a long time and uh, put a load on your network. So be conscious and uh, be aware. Just uh, notify your network team and get their permission. Okay, next thing which I told this utility can be used to test uh, UDP connectivity. So let's grab uh, uh, one of the, uh, this is one of the NTP server. Here I am testing uh, UDP connectivity. To test UDP connectivity, we have to use minus S space capital U, which means we are testing UDP connectivity now. Minus P is port, 123 is the port of NTP service. I am testing UDP connectivity now, pressing enter. If you see connectivity is open using UD UDP on 123 port. Let's test uh, TCP connectivity in same way. With TCP, NMAP minus P, port name, uh, and your target if you see this is filtered it mean uh, tcp connectivity is not allowed so that's easy way to find uh, whether udp connectivity is there or not next thing friends uh, let's say if you have to 
if you want to specify your inventory or your server detail in a file and uh, use that invent inventory file uh, with nmap command to do that vi let's say create one file etc and name it nmap.hosts here i'm typing ips let's say 90.10.10.100 and uh, second ip we can mention of uh, amazon machine and third ip let's say 90. Dot my gateway 10. Dot sorry it's uh, 192.168.1.1 I'm saving this file so if you have to specify inventory as your input uh, or targets nmap minus i mean inventory l mean list and uh, path to your file and whatever operation you want to do if you want to complete uh, operation without any option let's say nmap hostname no need to specify if you have to do some particular task let's say i want to test connectivity on uh, port 22 and pressing enter so it will scan port 22 for these servers only so i mentioned three servers if you see this is the output uh, this is for first server this is running on vmware this is the a particular mac id it is filtered it means uh, connectivity is not there for second machine which is my router it is telling port is open and uh, what about third machine it not listed uh, third machine which was my amazon why it not happened let's say no that happened that happened here start and map vmware netcom no it not happened sorry my mistake let's check why it not happened that's a bit of worry 54 this particular amazon machine connectivity check not happened so it means uh, something wrong here. Let's do it again. I'm a bit surprised why it not happened. It means uh, there is something incorrect in my file. Let's modify this file. is not taking this as input so maybe I need to figure out why it is not working so let's modify it again Let's make it first entry. Yep. So it means uh, something happened uh, during my copy pasting. Now it worked. If you see, port is open. So that's a way, friend, uh, you can perform your network connectivity test for your network using NMAP utility. And uh, this is the way to specify your inventory file. So thanks for watching this video friends uh, again in this video i stuck on a couple of places but that's good uh, i got a copy paste errors but still let's quickly check why i faced errors because everything is perfect if you notice uh, there is no invalid character junk character here not sure why it not happened or maybe it is checking the ips in uh, order that's uh, one assumption i can make maybe that is a bug or some new thing which i'm not aware because if you see it's starting from 54 90 192 it scan 90 then directly jump to 192 so it mean uh, ip need to be in a lower to higher range so that's uh, one thing which i'm thinking friends maybe this is a bug or uh, maybe this is a feature which i am not aware or because i have i have not seen this uh, a feature uh, or you can say limitation in uh, nmap uh, nodes so that's okay friend we we were able to figure out why it is not working so just uh, paste your servers in uh, uh, lower to higher range so thanks for watching this video friends if you have any query or any suggestion just post uh, your comment to my youtube channel thanks a lot bye bye